Our next trade was in CPB using strategy number four once again. On this particular trade, we went short and we had a profit of 32 cents. Let's show you how this trade unfolded. We asked ourselves, where is price in relation to the buy-sell line? Now, this one isn't as clearly defined because price is below, but then it kind of intersects the buy-sell line. It closes above, opens above, and then closes below. Well, remember, the main rule is it's not if price has to be above or below. It's actually where you get in. In other words, if you want to go short, you can only enter short below the buy-sell line. If you want to enter long, you can only enter long above the buy-sell line. But you can't do the opposite. So as you see here, according to all our rules, this is the valid setup bar. If you know how to calculate that, this is our valid setup bar. So this means we can go short if we trade one tick below. And as you can see, that would be below the buy-sell line. So this is a valid short setup for strategy number four. And we gapped a little lower. We went short at 36.20. We placed our stop here. All right, stop placement number two would be much higher. We placed our stop, and then we simply calculated where to place our exit level, which was down here at 35.88. So we have an open order at our stop, and we have an open order to exit with a game. And then you just simply wait. There's no reason to go to chat rooms. There's no reason to look at fundamental news. Or there's no reason to even watch the uh, commentators on TV. The market is telling you uh, this is where you should exit the trade, and this is where you should exit if you have a loss. And this is all you simply do. It's very simple. Actually, if you're doing uh, trading correctly, which was taught to me on the floor, it's very boring. So you just simply wait. And as you can see, we have our two orders entered. And on this particular day we entered, it looked like things were going to go against us. But look what happened market went right down to our level and then turned around. So we made a quick 32 cents. And as I said, you know, we, we gained, uh, you know, 13 points or so this past month from trades just like this. You don't need to, you know, be successful and hit all these home runs all the time. What it's really about, success is about hitting singles. Our next trade here was in HP. Once again, we used strategy number four uh, for the shorter term trade. We went along on the 27th at... Uh, 41.60, once again, got out the same day at 42.57. We gained nearly a point in this particular trade. Okay, we're well above the buy-sell line, as you can see. So this means we're only looking for a setup bar that will help us go long. And according to all our rules, based on our rules, this is the valid setup bar right here. If you know the rules of each and every strategy, you'll know out of all these bars which is the valid setup bar. Okay. And this one was our valid setup bar, so this means you would go long if you trade one tick above it, which we did. We ended at 41.60, placed our stop right here just below. And then according to the rules and the calculations of strategy number four, we knew where to place our exit, which was right here, 42.57. So this was all calculated for you either on the website where we posted all of this, or you can do this yourself. Once you learn the strategy, you'll know how to do this yourself. And you just simply enter the orders and wait. Now, this trade was very quick, uh, a very profitable trade here. And one day you made a point, and you could have been in and out that same day. Now, we have a, a few stocks in play, meaning that we are still in these trades here. So let's go over these, and we invite you to watch along with these particular uh, issues for next week. The first one is an MAS. Strategy number four, we went short on the 26th on Tuesday at 1083, and we're still in this trade. We got so close. I believe we got one tick away from covering this, but we're still in the trade. This is a short trade. This is our setup bar, and we went short once we traded below it at 1083. According to our calculations, this is where we cover our short. So as you can see, things have been going rather smoothly. From the minute we got short, it's been heading lower and lower. But... We missed it by one tick here uh, yesterday, and today we had a rally, which looks like it may be starting to go back up. So what we would suggest, remember this is according to your own discretion, but what we would suggest is what we were going to do is on Monday move your stop to unchanged. In other words, wherever you entered, move your stop to that price. So if things do not work our way, if we not go down to this level, you will at least not lose any money on the trade. Okay? Now once again, Stop placement number two traders may want to move their stop down to stop placement number one if they like to have a little bit more room. So we invite you to watch along with this trade next week to see if our short is covered. Our next trade is in AIG, strategy number four. In this particular trade, we went long on Wednesday at 42.06. And nothing much has really happened with this particular trade. 
We're above the buy sell line, as you can see right here. This is our setup bar. We entered here at 4206. Here are two stop placement levels. And here is our exit. So everything is calculated. We have our order in here, a stop placement, and at our exit, and nothing has happened. We're just kind of simply waiting. The one thing I would say is, though, as with most of our strategies, the longer you're in a strategy, the less your chances are for success. So, uh, you know, what we want to do, especially with strategy number four, on average, the trades last from one to three days. So if you see it's three, four, seven days, and you still haven't exited or been stopped out, the odds are it's not going to turn into a profitable trade. So you may want to move your stop up. You may want to exit unchanged, or at least use a little discretion and see where you want to be in this trade because you're also tying up capital as well and nothing's happening. So this trade is not really going away. If it, if it doesn't appear to be you know, headed in our direction sometime midweek, we'll probably exit unchanged. And then lastly, EQT. Uh, this is also strategy for a long trade. We went long today on the 29th at 37.33. We're above the buy sell line, as you can see, and this is our valid setup bar right here. So, knowing how to calculate the setup bar, we went long one tick above at 37.33. These are our two stop placements, whichever one you decide to use. And this is our exit level up here. Now, for those of you uh, members here that are watching this, uh, a little homework assignment. See if you can figure out where this exit level is, okay? Because uh, this is your uh, homework assignment. I've been giving you these exit levels, and we post it on the website. But use the website as your reference, as a checkpoint, to see if you uh, calculated it correctly. Uh, we, we give you the, the calculation and the formula in which to, to calculate your exit levels for strategy number four. But... You know, without me giving you all the answers away, see if you would know where it is exactly, and then go on the website in the Signal Archive section and see where we place this exit level. This is where our order is to sell. Hopefully, we'll be able to get out of this trade next week. All right, so let's recap this week's trades. We had five trades that were taken. Out of those five trades, three were long trades and two were short. And we had four winners and one loser. Now, you know... As I said earlier, we're not going for home runs here. We're going for consistency. Now, we made a total of two, a little over two and a quarter points for this past week. And I know it's not a lot because some people are saying, well, you know, I can make two, five, ten points in one stock in a, in a couple of weeks. But that's not our goal here. Our goal is consistency. As you saw, we racked up close to 13 or 14 points on this past month's trading activity. We're just trying to hit these singles here. Now, even if you had only been trading, you know, uh, 500 shares this past week, you would have had over $1,000 profit for this one particular trading week. Remember, our goal is to teach you the specialist edge, which is consistency. All right? There are too many traders that are going for the home run, and they may have a, a profitable month, a profitable year, and then a year or so down the road, they're completely blown out. They've lost everything. That's not what we want to do. We want to have these, uh, you know, these nice fundamental uh, uh, concepts and philosophies and techniques in place so that you'll be able to trade 5, 10, 20 years down the road. These were all techniques and concepts that were taught to me by elite traders on the floor of the stock exchange. Now, if you have any questions concerning what we went over today or anything on the website, please do not hesitate to email me at stephenplimo at specialisttrading.com. Lastly, we ask that you take one last look at our disclaimer. I showed you a lot of uh, performance results from this past week and the past month. But remember, we can in no way guarantee that any results I showed you will be repeated in the future. So as you're taking one last view at our disclaimer, I want to thank you so much for joining us this week. Be sure and come back here next week where I'll show you the performance results for the first week in November. Have a great weekend. We'll see you here next week. Bye-bye.